Hey everybody, welcome to the Tech for Road channel. This is DJI Spark and you can see me holding an OTG cable. So yes, that's gonna be another range test. Uh, after the initial <laughs> range test I have published, where I I've been sticking to the loyal, um, according to the regulation settings, and unfortunately I, I only made it up to five for well, a little more than 600 meters. After that I've been digging for a while and we know that there are two types of regulations and compliance for the DJI Spark transmitter. It could be according to the CE or the FCC and that brings quite a difference. Under CE regulations we've got about 500 meters as tested FPV and control distance range. Without it, uh, if we're according to the FCC regulations we go up to 2000 meters. If you go to the description of this video, I'm going to post the method of how you can make your Spark think it's actually in the United States while we're flying here in Europe. Uh, like I've said many times, it's a kind of not entirely legal, but we can pretend that sometimes we might forget we uh, have to bring it to the CE setting. So um, I'm going to use this ODG cable in order to decrease uh, the, the negative impact that the Wi-Fi of my smartphone is doing. So let's try it. Let's go.
Wow, that was quite a test. This is the spark. And marvelously, we made it to two kilometers, 2,000 meters reached in Europe. So that's quite an achievement, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, one more thing, because I've been flying with the sport mode throughout uh, most of the time, the battery gets really hot. It usually gets warm, but this time it's, it's hotter than usual. And because of the higher speed that this uh, sport mode is offering, I think it's, uh, it got exhausted a bit quicker than usual. Uh, one thing which is fair to say, I believe I could have gone a bit more than two kilometers because if you look behind me, there are trees and certainly these trees have had some sort of negative impact uh, in the transmission. And one more thing, there is a way to make the spark communicate with its transmitter at 2.4. And according to my experience, at least in my country, uh, and the landscape over here, 2.4 can reach further than 5.8. What I'm trying to say is that likely if there were no trees, and if I have made the spark run at 2.4, maybe I would have been able to reach a bit more than that. Uh, right now, I don't really want to risk the life of the spark, and I'm pretty happy. Two kilometers reach in Europe, so that's possible. Thanks for watching. If you want to check how to do that in the comments below, uh, there's going to be a description awaiting you. Now, enjoy your flights and hope to see you soon.